Okay. Shit. Hello, lady. Come, please. Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, you. You see anybody else around? Didn't think so, no. Welcome to Best Shop in Venice. Anything you're looking for, I provide. Except drugs. Competition too strong. I don't want any drugs. Look, I'm new to this place, and I'm wondering if you... No shit. You fit right in. Now, what can I get you? I'm not looking to buy anything right now. Well, this is shop. Place of business. No loitering. I'm not loitering. You called me over here. <sighs> details, details. So, you need any help? I'm looking for a place called The Fringe. Ah, The Fringe. So you know where it is? I certainly do. Well, could you tell me, please? <sighs> yes, yes. Keep pants on. Very close. Go to other side of Crossroads, find Via Milano, go through Tano to Florence Square, and there you are. On the other side. Thanks. You are most welcome, and good luck. The Fringe. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for Charlie. He's down there past the bar. Thank you. Whatever. Excuse me. Are you Charlie? Yeah. Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call him? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look. Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. Listen, I know Jericho. He'd ask you to keep things quiet, and he wouldn't want to make life difficult for you. But something has happened, something big, and I really do need to find him. If there's anything you can tell me, anything at all, I don't know where else to go. Please. <sighs> okay, yeah. He came by last night. We talked a few days ago, but Jericho, he wanted to meet up. He said that some conversations shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted to ask me some questions about a place I used to live in ten years ago. The Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. The Victory Hotel. Shady place. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask, but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know. 
and I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So, Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The border house. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told them there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. And Jericho, he went there last night? I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Brink. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman store, you'll get to a bridge called the Rialto. Cross the Rialto to get to Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to the brink. Victory Hotel's on the end of the brink. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. I think there's some scaffolding still left from the construction work. That might help you get down into the canals, but I haven't been around there in a while. Thanks, Charlie. I appreciate all your help. You're welcome, girl. Let me know if you find your friend, all right? Yo, come by! Best store in Vinny! Quality! Hello. Ah, you're back! What you need now? Could you tell me how to get to the Victory Hotel? Yes, yes, easy. See bridge behind me? Cross that, go right there, left there, right there, left there, there you are! Easy! Uh, thanks. Next time you buy something, okay? You buy something now? Best prices, guaranteed! You, come by! No answer. When I find you, Reza, I'm giving you a big hug. And then you're buying me new shoes and pants. And a very big cup of hot coffee. Probably where Ressa got in. There's light coming through that boarded up window. This window probably leads into the hotel basement. Oops, I dropped the axe inside.
God, that's... Reza's lighter. Zoe! That girl, is she here? Find April Ryan. Save her. said 201. That must be the room number. I think... I think she wants me to go open that closet in room 201. Is that what brought Reza here? It's some sort of security system. Looks like it controls the building's surveillance cameras. Aye, fights is done. Fading. And it's a great goal. Oh, yes. She's connected to one of those things I saw in Reza's apartment. What is it doing to her? What's all this equipment for? What is that thing? They must be testing it on these people. It's probably what this place is for. It's not a hotel. It's a laboratory. What's all this equipment for? This is it. The room the little girl was in. It's an old videograph. Is that... Charlie? That is Charlie. And those two girls? Maybe this used to be Charlie's room. But why did the little girl point to his closet? What's his connection to all of this? Shit! What the fuck are you doing here? This is my room! Get back to... Wait. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Don't talk to me like that. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I am the fucking supervisor. That's who. Now who the fuck are you? I told you, don't talk to me like that. Fuck you! Ah! Oh, fuck! Fuck! You punched me! Well, you attacked me. Jesus! I wasn't gonna do nothing! You punched me in the nose?! Fucking hurts! Oh, shit! Shit! My face! Yeah, well, you're lucky it's just your face. I'm Black Belt. So what the fuck do you want from me?! Oh, fuck! Fucking hurts! I'm looking for a friend of mine. He was here last night, looking for information. Maybe he talked to some people, I don't know. Point is, I need to find him. If he's been here, maybe you know where he went. I don't know. I, you, you'll come in here and you punch me in the face? I should fucking... Ugh. What's his name? Reza. 
Reza Tamiz. Yeah? So what's in it for me? I won't punch you again. Okay, I'll pay you. 500 if you can get me any information about what's happened to him. Another 500 if you help me find him. 1,000 wise. If you help me find him. I'm good for it. Hmm. Looks like it. So this guy must be real important to you. You screwing him? I don't need another excuse to kick your ass. Jesus! All right, can a guy ask? Christ, you're touchy. Okay. I could use a thousand just about now. So, so what's this guy's name again? Rez what? Reza Tamiz. He's about your height, black hair, tanned, probably well-dressed. He was here last night. I, I'll see what... It's a thousand, right? Would you give me the five hundred up front? No. You get your money when I get the information. If you don't want to do business, I'll... Fine. So how do I contact you? Do you know the Fringe? Who doesn't? I'll be there tonight. Yeah, sure you will. You know how difficult it is to get an invite? It's like a two-year waiting list. Just come back here later and we'll... No. The Fringe. I've got connections. I'll make sure you're on the list. No fucking way! That's awesome! If you told me that right away, sweetheart, I'd have found your friend for free. Okay, so I'll see what I can dig up. The Fringe? Fuck. Awesome. Alright, so we got a deal. Come on, I'll let you out the front. DNA lock. Unbreakable shit. Yeah, this place is an impenetrable fortress. Check around, see what I can find. Now tonight, the Fringe. You're not trying to con me or anything. I'm very serious. This friend of mine, he means a lot to me. Whatever, as long as I'm on the list and you got the cash. Uh, uh, wait, what was your name again? Zoe, what's yours? Marcus. You don't have a last name? No, do you? <laughs> You're a player, Zoe. I'll give you that. Okay, Marcus. Thanks, I'll see you later. Yeah? Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza. And uh, no, not yet. But I have a lead. Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the hotel. Room 201. I found it in the closet and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago. Yeah. I can't believe that Graf would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room ten years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Why? That name sounds very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks April's alive and... out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah. They were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years. And, and April... Let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles. How did April disappear? Look, I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. I need to know, Charlie. I think there may be a connection between April Ryan and whatever Reza was investigating. What? 
Are you serious? This is gonna sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things on screens back in Casablanca at, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case. But I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl. I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl, she speaks to me. Directly to me. Through the screen. Find her. Save her. At first, that was all she said. And then... Find April Ryan. Find April. Save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first Vactrax or Scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyn in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah. He's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway, Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm gonna go call Emma, and then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table, and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. everything. I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April, Ryan, but... It is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. Well, she could be trying to get in touch with us, Charlie. Maybe she needs our help. Maybe... Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry to ask, but... Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah. Yeah, I did. She disappeared under some very strange circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and... Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April, she made it out. And that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. 
She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back together. And by the time we started looking for her again... April was gone. Vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe... You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait. April told you that she'd seen another dimension? Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds, and that she was needed. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one. Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. I never had reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us. She's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head, and... I know, Charlie. Have some faith, okay? I know. I can feel it. I've done a lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best-kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy? Delusional? You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine? Ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse, strange things, like... like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back, everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me, I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. In Arcadia. Okay. Okay, so let's say you're right. The messages I've been getting. You think that winter place is the parallel world April talked about? Arcadia? From what I know, it doesn't sound like Arcadia. But who knows? The question is, who's the little girl, and why is she trying to contact you? After all, you didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, you would never have recognized April's name. It seems improbable, I know, but Reza is the link. The story he's working on must have something to do with all of this. It's the only explanation I can think of. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No, but with any luck I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. I mean, I met Charlie and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter and there was blood 
everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, you got yourself a VIP booth? Marcus, I was just about to... Convenient, because I brought some friends along and they'd love to say hello. In private. with me. Find April Ryan. Hurry, Zoe. Hurry. But what do you... You must hurry. Go. Now. I need to, to... I need to wake up. Or get out of here. I need to do something. Anything. If I'm not mistaken, the water wheel is connected to more gears. It could be what powered the city back when it was inhabited. There's a wooden platform up there.
it's locked from the outside. It doesn't look very solid. That machine looks brand new. It definitely doesn't fit in with the rest of the stuff down here. Who stores food like this? I don't think I'm in Newport anymore. Benrima, visitor. What are you on about, Bryn? She's standing right next to you. Um, hello? Oh, blessed be the sixth child you startled me. You speak English? Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm not sure what's hap- Speak what? Who are you? Where do you come from? Uh, I... I don't know. I think I'm... I'm dreaming. It's just that, no matter what I do, I can't seem to wake up. Dream? This is no dream, child. Do you need me to pinch your arm? What? No. N no, that's... I'm... The twins, they did something to me. Something... How did you get in? We don't open until midday. Open what? The inn, child. What do you think? Are you soft-witted, or...? By the balance, you're from... from... the other side, aren't you? What? Gracious me. Another shifter. <laughs> Why do they always end up here? Another what? You must go see Minstrum Magda immediately. She will explain everything. Minstrum Magda? Leave now, but be cautious, and don't speak a word of this to anyone. They have ears everywhere. Look, I don't know what's going on, and I don't know what a shifter is, or why I'm supposed to see this Magda person, and... I understand that you are frightened, child. You don't understand. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm almost starting to think that those stories Charlie told me about April Ryan are true. Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Do you know her? No, I don't recognize the name. You need to see Minstrum Magda, child. I guess I don't have a choice, dream or no dream. Where can I find her? She moves around, but Blind Bob ought to know where she is. He's right outside. You can't miss him. Blind Bob, Minstrum Magda, underground cities and strange monsters. I feel like I'm inside some kind of fairy tale. All right. I'll go talk to, um, Blind Bob. Thank you. What's your name? Benrima Salmon, child. I'm the innkeeper of the Journeyman Inn. If you ever need anything, come see me. I'll help you the best I can. I'm Zoe, and thank you. I'm sure I will see you again. You're the only person I know in this... this place. for a poor old blind bastard with no home no hearth. I'm so sorry, I don't have any money. Ah, well, I'll let you in on a secret, Rose Petal. Blind Bob's happy he don't have no home no hearth. Had those, hated them, 
left to begin a career in beggaring. Now a pauper's life is a king's life. Freedom, fresh air, no strings, no stress, no bleeding taxes. Aren't you cold? You think, but no. Had a bit of an accident with a fire charm when I was a wee lad. Left me permanently temperate. It's actually quite pleasant. But what about that whole being blind thing? That can't be good. Oh, that. It's theoretical. Theoretical? I could have been blind. Had an accident with a chemical spell when I was a wee lad. Near burned me eyes out. But it didn't. No, no, not at all. Miss Blind Bob's face by a mile. Could have burned me eyes out, mind you. Could very well have. So I'm theoretically blind. Of course, theoretically blind Bob is no proper name for a beggar. So I just use Blind Bob nowadays. That's me, that is. Uh, okay. Hello. Do you know where I can find Minstrum Magda? Oh, he knows her, Blind Bob does. He knows her well. Nice lady. Best sort not soups off the lame bastard hill. Do you know where she is today? Oh, she moves around, Magda does. Ain't seen her round here in a while. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Like who? I don't know anyone in the city. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. Lives up Crab Ben, Clara does, on Hangman Span, in view of Friar's Keep. Crazy as a turnip, Clara is. But she's also got a Scout Wing's eyes. She knows more than she lets on. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Oh, just call me theoretically. We're friends now, ye and I. Make a donation to the welfare of old... And you'll receive your... What are we doing with this one? He was caught inside the ghetto, selling medicine to the Magicals. You know what that is, don't you? Treason. Treason against the Empire, and Sadir that have your head off. In a second. Any humans who get involved with the Magicals are traitors to their race. That might not warrant an appointment with the Blade here in this godlessless city, but we'll find a way to get you shipped off to Sadir. Move it! Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, are you Clara by any chance? You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. I'm a friend of Blind Bob's. You know, theoretically. Near burn me eyes out, wee lad. Where's me bag? My baby. Blind Bob's your baby? Pretty thing, so pretty, my flower, but she has to be punished. All gone. All gone. I think Bob's still up by the journeyman, but uh, you're not talking about him, are you? Baby, my baby, my baby. So you lost something? Or someone? My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. 
Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net, just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's clothes. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? Good morning, dear. You look hungry. Do you want some soup? All profits go to the refuge. We shelter and feed the homeless and the penniless. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. Very well, dear. Come back if you change your mind. Get your fish fresh from the ocean. Best fish in town, fresh out of the water. Hey, you can't go in there. That must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. See you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt nut soup, our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps, too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup too. Down where? The market? 
We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Get your fish fresh from the ocean. No sales today. No rent money. No food. For Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No, thank you. Are you Minstrom Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just looking for Minstrom Magda. I don't know any Minstrom Magda. There are no Minstrom in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... that Minstrom... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? The innkeeper at the Journeyman. Oh? And who would that be? Her name is Ben Rime Salmon. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now why would she do a thing like that? Because I'm... I'm, um... not from around here. That much is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. So there's nothing you can do for me? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. They fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common and I think... I think she's in trouble. And you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. What's the magic ghetto? It used to be called Old Town, the oldest neighborhood in Mercuria. Now it's a prison in disguise. All magical peoples in Mercuria have been forced behind those walls to protect them from the humans. At night, the gates are closed. And there are often raids. Homes are turned upside down. Good, honest people are arrested and... And what? They are taken away, never to be seen again. The Azadi call them terrorists. But they are shopkeepers and tailors and poets. 
The only terrorists here are... But no, we do not speak ill of the Azadi. They have done so much for us. Who are the Azadi? They are our protectors and our guests. They helped liberate Mercuria from the Tyran armies ten years ago. And then they decided to stay. So the city's under occupation? Not at all. And you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. They are here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. Bye. Psst. Hey. Hey. What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Who told you... Oh, wait. Weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? That doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name... April Ryan. You know her? I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? You'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from... from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean, how do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up and drag me into a basement somewhere? I... promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to Re To April. She's the one you're looking for, right? Okay, fine. So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise, no basements. Come on. Hurry up. We don't want to stay close. This is it. We're almost there. It's just around the corner. Now! <laughs> Careful, Swan. She's a screamer. Raven will be pleased that we bagged as a spy. I'm asking about you. There's no question about it. She's a spy. She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Bryn? All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There is something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Alone. What? Why? Bryn, don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But... I... Bryn, come. Now. Fine. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. So, why are you asking questions about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor... in the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... 
How are they doing? I only just met them. At the fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... Black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place. A subterranean city. And there were these... Uh, these creatures. I had to sneak by them. All the time I was repeating to myself, They can't harm you, it's just a dream. Except... Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here, I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learn to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime and Minstrom Magda told me. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just... do it. Once you learn how, it's like blinking. With your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least... I don't think I was. It's... fuzzy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I'd let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been... receiving this strange message. Like a... I don't know. A vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house. And a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Receiving? How? Through dreams? No. No, on screens. It's like... like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I don't think so. This girl... she led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You've got problems, you figure them out. That's what I had to do. I'm done with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. But I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. And what do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Lie down on that bed, and I'll be right back. What are you going to do? There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. What's she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. So why won't you? Because I have enough trouble in my life already. Because I'm fighting a war and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. 
Breathe slowly. Don't speak. Listen to Naane's voice. Nea, Amam, Ayan An. Listen to my voice. Let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane An, Ayan An, A Ayan An. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to? But what just happened? I do not know, April An. She did not open a shift, and her clothes. They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here, in this world. But I will say this: I do not think this girl is a shifter. Then what is she, and where did she go? Not bad, Kian. You did well out there today. Thank you, Master. But your praise shames me. The light of the goddess blinds my opponents and guides my sword to victory. Your skill with the sword is unmatched, Kian, and so is your faith. But the one does not equate with the other. What do you mean, Master? Your devotion to your faith and your prowess with a blade should never be confused. Religion and war mix as well as dry grass and a flaming torch. How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined, or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics. When did you become a woman? Your dedication to the mission is a waste of your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. You could be a powerful man, Kian. Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. A puppet. Well, you've never approved of my calling, but I have pledged my life to the goddess, and I have vowed to protect her word. The word of the goddess does not require your protection, and you have pledged your life to the six, not the goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this, we will never see eye to eye, master. I am an apostle of the faith, and I have a thousand pardons, apostle. Excuse me, master. Yes, Chilena. The six require your presence, Apostle. When? My apologies, Apostle. They said to bring you immediately. Thank you, Master. Forgive me. Of course, Kian. You're excused. We will continue practice without you. 
Amaron, Nozan, into the ring! And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around! Please, Apostle, we must hurry. You look like two lovers out for a stroll Follow in the me, moonlight! Apostle. Fight! Don't dance! Lift that arm! God is There's no hope for any of you. Apostle, our apologies for calling you away while you were training. We know that you are busy with the Initiates, but this could not wait. We have just had word from our armies in the East, and it worries us deeply. Our dearest Apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, Mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless lives. The mission continues unabated, of course. Nothing shall stand between the glory of the Goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. Apostle Kian, we need you to travel east to those heathen lands, to bring the word to the heretics. There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A Deoman. You must travel tonight to the Havens, Apostle, and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. You must seek him out, and you must convert him. By the letting of his blood, he shall be reborn into the next life where he may find forgiveness in the glory of the goddess. Find this rebel leader, this scorpion, and let your blade kiss his throat. This is your mission, Kian Alvane. As you please, mistress. Your word is my path. You will leave now with haste. May the goddess be with you, apostle. And mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him. I shall be vigilant, mistress. Blessed be the goddess. Blessed be the path. Blessed be the word, blessed be the mission. Can we trust him? If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He will complete his mission. The prophet was adamant. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the Prophet said. When it is done... The light of the Goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave, drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly, and may the Goddess aid the Apostle in his mission. The future of our Empire rests on his shoulders now. I am being sent to the Havens tonight, Master. A cloud ship will take me east across the ocean. I must leave with haste. With haste? I see. Another heathen who needs converting. There's great darkness in this world. Is it not our duty to illuminate the darkness with the light of the Goddess? We cannot make the sun rise in the dead of night, Kian. Like everyone else, we must wait for dawn. Must we have this discussion again, Master? It seems to me you question everything I believe in. Not so, Kian. You know I'm a man of faith. What I am questioning is our right to impose our faith on others. I've been to these eastern lands and they... And is it not a place full of darkness and sin? Would it not be better off under the guiding light of our faith and the mercy of the goddess? 
What would you have me answer? There is indeed arrogance, oppression, murder and fear in those lands. But there's also beauty, freedom and humility. And the brightest day has the darkest shadows, Kian. Remember that. I must depart now, Master. The cloud ship leaves the havens at first light and my duty beckons. Duty or no duty? Do only what you yourself believe to be right and not what others tell you is right. I'll see you when you get back. You can tell me all about the Eastlanders and how you rescued their maidens from a life of sin. May you walk with the goddess, Kian. And the light of the goddess upon you, Master Garn. You all right, girl? Where... Where am I? You're still at the Friends. You don't remember? Uh, I don't know. I... Uh, how did I get back here? Back? You haven't moved all night. A couple of guests found you passed out. You were drugged. What? That's what it looks like. I checked the cameras, but there was nothing on them. The crystals were wiped. When we found you last night, I called a friend of mine, a doctor. She came by and checked you out. She said you were on some kind of synth, but that you'd sleep it off. So I closed the room and kept an eye on you all night. That's not possible. I was somewhere else. April. She... What? I met April. April Ryan. I was in Arcadia, the place she spoke about. I was there. So... So I couldn't possibly have been here. Zoe, look, I've been checking in on you every 15 minutes all night long. You couldn't have gone anywhere without me noticing. You were fed some kind of hallucinogenic. You've probably been having very vivid dreams. That's impossible. I was there. I spoke with April. She was... She wasn't very cooperative. But I did speak with her. All I know is that you've been sleeping right here since we found you. You left Emma and me at the table to make a call. Twenty minutes later, some guests found you passed out in the booth. They gave up their reservation quite willingly. They didn't want to get involved. Sorry about that. Sorry? Girl, it's not your fault that someone drugged you. But you might want to consider getting out of this before you get hurt. I can't just abandon Reza. I'm sure he doesn't want you to put yourself at risk like this. Did you see whoever did this to me? You don't remember anything? No. Last night's a blur. The first thing I remember is waking up in... No, I don't remember anything from the Fringe. I didn't see anyone. But apparently our friend Marcus Crozier checked in just before the incident. And he brought two guests. Wait. I remember... part of it. Marcus. The twins. Twins? They're working together. They were in Reza's apartment back in Casablanca, and they were here last night. So they must have been the ones who drugged you. Maybe. But I don't understand why they didn't just... kill me. I mean, that's the second time they've attacked me, and I'm still walking. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to look a gift horse in the mouth. You're alive. Don't ask too many questions. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home while I'm still... After all, Mark has turned out to be a big mistake on my part. And if Rez has gotten himself into something really dangerous... Besides, I don't know where to go from here. I might as well head back to Casablanca and wait for Rez to get in touch with me. That sounds like a good idea, girl. How do you feel? A bit woozy. But pretty good, considering... Did Emma leave already? Early this morning. She has a show later today in Moscow. I promised I'd keep her updated. So what are you going to tell her? I don't know. What you just told me, I guess. Who knows? Even if it was a dream, maybe you really did speak with April. It felt real enough. I don't know. I need to sort things out in my head. I guess I will go home. I don't feel like crossing paths with Marcus or the twins again. They were probably just trying to scare you. 
Your friend seems to be onto a pretty big story. Yeah. I just hope that... Ow. You okay, Zoe? Just my head. Yeah, I'm okay. You can stay here as long as you need to. And I can call my doctor friend again. No need to go to a hospital. No. I should go home. Thanks, Charlie. I really appreciate it. No problem, girl. Drop by if you're ever in town again. And keep me updated if you find your friend or if you... If you hear from April. I will, Charlie. Thanks for everything. Hola, sweetie. It's me. Where are you? Hi, Liv. I'm still in Newport, but I'm on my way home. Any news? Yes. You're going to Japan. Japan? I decrypted Reza's notes. Well, most of them. Okay, some of them. I'm still working on it, but I found out that he was investigating Watikorp. Watikorp? Really? My god, that's... that's pretty huge. What was he investigating? Don't know yet, sweetie, but he was in contact with two people at Wati, one of whom was the dead girl in his apartment. From his notes, my guess is that after leaving Newport, he would be heading to Wati City, on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. That's where Wati Corp HQ is located. And that's also everything I've got so far, I'm afraid. I'll keep working on Reza's notes, and I'll have more info for you when you get there. You mean Japan? You know, I'd try and convince you not to go, but you seemed pretty set on tracking Reza down, and all signs point to Japan. I know. I have to keep going. I... I can't give up. Not now, not this time. This is too important. If I quit... Is everything all right, Zoe? Yes and no. I'm fine. I'm not hurt or anything, but things have happened. I don't have time to get into it right now. But it'll make a hell of a story someday. As long as you're okay, sweetie. Like I said, I'll keep working on the notepad and I'll call you when you get to Wati City. Safe journey. All right, Liv. Take care. Thank you. 